Good afternoon, folks. Mark here, and welcome to the sofa. This time, I have a plan, but no mini, which means I'm sculpting one. So, no painting table just yet. Instead, it's time to make a weeping angel. Not that kind. Not exactly drawing a masterpiece here. First off, I needed to figure out her pose and how I was going to lay out the whole scene. The plan is to have her slumped on the floor of a church before a ruined altar, with a stained glass window casting the only colour across the scene. I didn't want it all in a straight line though, so I tried to find an angle where she was looking at the altar the walls made sense, and only one window would be shining across the scene. And there it is. Time for the painting table. Sculpting table. You know what I mean. Let's start with the armature and some bulking. To get the anatomy right, I've got a little skeleton print to refer to. Some careful bending to shape, accompanied by me posing on the floor for reference. A little bit of milliput for mass, and it's on to some rough bulking. I don't really have a plan, just trying to get some rough shapes in place to refine as I go. Which is why I started with a leg, then switched to the face. crept slowly up on the right shape, which was made slower by having to fix every part I didn't measure first. Probably because I was never great at proportions. And on top of that, it's been a while since I last sculpted. Gradually though, things started to look a little more human. Hands and feet are notoriously hard, which raises the question, why did I go for bare feet? But what else do we expect, really?
Wonder what point I get in trouble over TOS. There we are. Better safe than sorry. Had to adjust the toes on the lower foot as it looked a bit too twisted. Gotta thank Drawfee for the arms, honestly. Telling me to think about the muscles as a chain was really handy. Well, army. Handy was still tricky. For the hand, I ended up baking the sculpt after each finger to give me something to work on. Now, I know that right hand is bad, but bear with it, I will come back to it. The dress began as a rough layer of putty that I could slowly add folds and shape to. And as it turns out, cut some details into the hem so it hopefully looks lighter weight. I'd left the torso pretty thin to give me more space for the bodice, but I did need to adjust the chest height. Don't want collar boobs. Oh, right. My bad. Hang on. More blocking in for the top, along with slow refinement of the folds. Some of them didn't hang right, so I made them drape from the shoulder more. Then, to match the hem, I cut into the shoulder panels.
the last step on the dress was kind of future-proofing. Slit in the back, so the wings had somewhere to emerge. I started with a few bits of under hair, planning for a messy wave look, and then changed my mind on the dress. So that all got pulled off. Then I sliced away the back of the dress and resurfaced the skin, leaving the wings with more space. Hair round two began with the lower strands, again planning to build it up in waves. with a pulled back and twisted section, because I saw that in real life and thought it would be nice. That's as far as I've got. I may change the dress sleevelets, and I still need to do the wings, but I don't think I did too bad considering I'm not very practiced. Of course, I'm very open to suggestions. If you can see something that looks off, let me know. I can hopefully fix it while I'm sculpting the wings. Get in touch if you like, and maybe I'll see you next time.